Hey there. How's it going, my just as good crowd? Today you're in for a real treat. In today's episode of Your Favorite Libertarian, we're going to be going over something that is ridiculously similar to the Haley Strategic Fat Pack. Fat Pack? Flat Pack Plus. <laughs> oh man, this must be the plus size flat pack. Am I right? The Haley Strategic Fat Pack Plus. Dang it. The Haley Strategic Flat Pack Plus. And that is the Crydex Tactical. It's always tactical with those guys. Tactical Expandable Backpack. I wanted to show you all the nooks and crannies, all the different features of this bag, and you can determine at the end of it if this is just as good or if you want to go with the Haley Strategic version instead. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh. I know what you're thinking. My favorite libertarian, this looks very familiar. This looks a lot like a Haley Strategic Flat Pack Plus. And there's a good reason for this. This is unapologetically a Chinese knockoff. Crydex makes a lot of different gear, but by makes, I mean copies a lot of different gear from different manufacturers like Spirit of Systems, Haley Strategic, and this one is their imitation of the Flat Pack Plus. Upon initial inspection, I haven't seen anything that is concerning to me as far as quality control, stitching, any of that stuff, but we'll get more long-term reviews after some long-term testing. The reason that I got this bag was to put it on the back of my plate carrier. So there's a couple things that I'm going to use for that. I'm gonna use this bag itself. And then I'm also going to use this by WTF Ideas. And this is kind of an adapter to have a way to attach Molly things to the back panel of a slick, slickster back panel. So we're going to probably have a part two for this. But back to this bag, I'm going to show you all the different compartments, what it looks like flat, what it looks like expanded. I'm going to show you the back of it so you can see all the different options you have and why this is a really versatile bag, because you can do a lot more than just have it be a backpack. And we are going to try to figure out what differences there are between this and the over $100 more version of this bag. Let's take a tour of the compartments, shall we? Ooh. First, let's uh, get this out of the way because this is going to be really annoying. All right, so we have this front panel here, but this is deceiving. You'd think it only goes to like about here. It actually goes all the way down. And this is a separate compartment from the main compartment of the bag. So you have this sleeve here, essentially. What I think you might use this for is either like just documents, things like that, or there's specifically sized panels that are bulletproof that you could put in here. And I know that Haley Strategic has some different offerings for that. So that's probably why this section exists. But just so you know, it goes all the way through. And there is a felt material on my palm side when I put my hand in. So you could put any type of Velcro accessories in there if you needed to. The front pouch compartment area right here is accessible with this zipper only. Meaning if you expand this, it's not going to magically be able to be accessed through here, it still has to go in here. So if you wanna be able to fit anything inside of here, you have to be able to get it through this space, if that makes sense. Now we'll go into the main compartment, show you what that looks like. So you have this pretty thin piece here. This part does not expand at all, unless you count this front pouch here, but otherwise this doesn't make it any bigger by unzipping anything. On this side, this is where all the expandability, <laughs> expandability is. So right now it's pretty thin. Uh, you know, you can get to my knuckles here and then it's got, instead of a hook or loop material, instead of like a loop material, it has this felt. And it's got felt all these places where you see black in the video. I thought this was going to be actual loop Velcro, it is not. 
I'm not sure if that's the case with the flat pack by Haley Strategic, but this knockoff does not have Velcro anywhere on it except for this front section right here. So one question I had was, could I still take Velcro stuff and attach it to this? So I've got something Velcro and yeah, you could still attach something to this and it would stay on. It just probably isn't going to last as long if you're ripping it off and putting it back on as 3M Velcro would. Also in here you have a zipper that allows you to access uh, smooth on the inside, both sides. This side is just the other side of the felt that's smooth. And then this is Cordura. It allows you to access this panel here, which is where most people would put some type of hydration bladder. And then if you look closely, you also have this elastic here and that allows you to put your finger through and do this with it or put any type of water bladder drinking tube through here if you want to use this as a water bladder holder of sorts. As you can see, this is very slim. It works out, it runs, it doesn't skip a cardio day. It's a very thin pack and that's really nice. It's good to have the ability to be flat against a plate carrier or a chest rig so that it's out of the way, it's not snagging on anything. But if we need to put more stuff in it, I wonder how much it'll expand. Let's find out. First, I'll do the front panel for you. And you can see here, we have a little extra room. So that's nice. Now we'll expand rest of the bag and this is where it gets crazy this blew my mind the first time I saw it okay so you know super thin uh, you know then the wham look at that holy smokes look at how wide that gets this backpack got a desk job and stopped exercising got married ate a lot of his wife's home cooking, and it's gotten a serious dad bod. Now, what does the main compartment look like now that this is all expanded? Let's take a look. Well, you can probably guess there's a lot more space. Get, look at how far my hand goes in. So if I, yeah, let's see, uh, right about there. So that's how deep it goes from my middle finger down to the end of my other middle finger. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using middle fingers as increments of measurement, but that is how deep it is. That's pretty awesome to have that ability to expand it that much. So I don't know how much I'll use the expanding feature of this, but it's cool to know that I have that option, which is kind of why I got the plus version or the knockoff plus version of this bag. All right, now let's talk about the back of this backpack. The straps, the molly, all the things. First, I'll show you what this looks like in a backpack configuration, both flat and expanded. As a frame of reference, I am 6'3 and 180 pounds. So that's backpack mode. These shoulder straps aren't bad. They're just full Velcro. They're okay. I mean, they would work as backpack straps, but you can tell that definitely wasn't the only reason these straps were made. And as far as the backpack goes, it's pretty small, pretty lightweight. Carry the bare essentials. And then if you need to put more stuff in it, you can expand it. So let's see what it looks like. Expand it. Look at this enormous backpack I have now. All right, so that's the backpack expanded. 
pretty standard really. Another mode that is very intriguing with this bag is the chest rig mode. Now I'm glad that they have this option because frankly the Halo Strategic chest rig with the X-Harness is just not good. The X-Harness system in general I'm not a huge fan of so if I can have some way to convert something to an H-Harness with an existing piece of gear that's fantastic. The way that this works is you have your backpack straps you just unclip these from the bottom portion like so. And then you pretty much use the backpack straps as the top portion of the H harness. So it's nice and comfortable. And these buckles would clip into the top of the chest rig. Then you'd have these bottom straps that would click in right here and here. And then you would have additional straps that you would need to add to here and here that would then allow you to click into, I'm sorry, falling off, <laughs> would allow you to click into these buckles that would be right here. So you've got one, two on each side here, and then you have the two top ones that would click in. And then that would complete the look, the aesthetic, and also functionally connect the H harness slash backpack to your chest ring. Quick reminder, this is a Chinese knockoff for $52 and it's a knockoff of something that is originally $160. So there's going to be a few differences. I would venture to guess probably differences in craftsmanship, durability, etc. One difference right off the bat that I can tell you though, is that it does not include the straps that connect on this portion of the bag and this portion of the bag. So if you want to be able to have all the pieces of that connect to the chest rig, you would have to go on Halo Strategic's website and buy them, I think for a pair of them, they're $10. So not a huge additional expense. You're into this for $62 at that point, and you can use it with chest rigs that you already have, either Halo Strategic or otherwise. So that's pretty cool, but just something to note, it does not include these straps for that price. Now, if you buy the real thing, it does include those straps. The last thing I want to show you as far as configurations go is taking all of these straps off and just having the Molly configuration for back panels. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible so it's not boring, but I also want you to see what I'm doing so you can understand how you need to take this apart. First we have these big straps. Just undo the Velcro. Slide that through. I might have to pull on this elastic part a little bit. But there's uh, one of your shoulder straps off. There we go. Now I need to take this off and this is a little bit more complicated. So you need to take this all the way off of this buckle. All right, so there you go. Now you have your straps detached from this. And now all you need to do is weave the molly through whatever you want to attach this to. Well, it's been real and it's been fun. And it's been real fun. Thanks for sticking with me to the end, you guys. You're the secret super special subscribers and viewers. If you want to know what the secret code is that you can comment in the next video so that you and I know that you guys are the special ones. The secret code is meow. All right. Now, we talked about this in length. And the last mode, again, is to attach this to a plate carrier. As you can see, I have my Feral Concept Slickster featured in another video. Feel free to check that out on the channel as well. And this is slick, so there's no Molly attachment method here. How am I going to attach this bag? To this plate carrier you ask? Well I'm glad you did because I'm going to be doing it with the WTF Ideas 
adapter panel. That's not the exact name. I'll get into what it's really called in my next video. I'll do an installation and I'll also obviously be attaching this bag to it probably before I attach it to the back of the Slickster because it'll be easier to loop them out. But I'll show you how that works, answer any questions you might have on that particular product, and yeah. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for me and the Crydex Tactical Expandable Backpack. If you have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any comments you'd like to comment, you know where those go as well. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a like. It makes me feel good. It makes my soul smile. And it also helps the YouTube algorithms to get this information out to more people. If you could do me a quick favor, just make sure to share this video with a million of your closest friends. That would really be super helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for notifications that will notify you. If you'd like to support my channel monetarily, you can do so by clicking on the Patreon or subscribe to our links below. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay free.